Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Hughes. I'm here to present you with a teaching tip for those of you working online. And uh, the more we use online tools, it shows how important it is for us to get students' attention, get them really riveted, really excited about what they're going to learn. So why not use visual backgrounds, as I'm using right now, or screen share? Uh, we are using a lot of platforms which allow us to do just that. We can adapt our backgrounds, or of course, screen sharing as a part of the learning experience. So in screen sharing or visual backgrounds, we can present several things that can be useful for our students. So to demonstrate that, as I have here in the background, I'm going to show you what are some of these tips or what are the reasons we can use for uh, using these stuff. So here we go. So as you can see, I'm going to share the same thing as I have in my background, but why use virtual backgrounds or screen sharing? As I said, as lesson starters or as closures. So we can see that it could arouse students' interest first and foremost. It can be presented as a warm-up. So you can get students really not just interested, but it could be part of the warm-up activity. Yeah, an icebreaker, for example, of an interesting picture, a picture from your vacation, picture that they would identify with. And this could become a challenging experience where they could share their screens as well. To prepare for storytelling, so you can also work them into, um, you know, setting the scenes, looking at and just getting them to guess, predict what's going to happen in the story. Recycling previously learned language is also important and can be used with this and for, and, and finally, to teach new language. So as we can see, there are several possibilities when we use a visual background like this, if you can, on many platforms, um, you know, conferencing platforms, and we can also share screens on that. So either one will be useful for getting students totally engaged and totally motivated to learn. That's my tip. Thank you very much.